It is live, so we're live. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you for waking up with Glamma. Adam decided to join me today. You know why? Good morning. Because it's January 17th. It's our anniversary day today. <laughs> We've been married a whole 50. Oh, wait, it's only been 10 years. It just seems yeah. like 50. <laughs> and wonderful. Years. I'm just kidding. I love her. <laughs> no, the 10 years has gone by so fast. I can't believe it's already 10 years that we've been married. But yeah, he was out riding his motorcycle to the post office today, but he's riding it illegally. <laughs> he doesn't have That's light. That's what said on video. <laughs> what do you, what is it that we need? Just registration. You need the registration. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, bummer, too bad it's not registered because that could be one of our little anniversary outings is to go riding through the back roads and maybe stop somewhere for lunch like Olive Garden. I love their soup and salad and their breadsticks and but I like just being home too. I'm a I'm a homebody. I love being home. <laughs> if you could have your wish, what would you be doing on, on our anniversary? I would be flying you to Tuscany. Ooh, I've <laughs> for, always wanted to go to Tus to for Italy. A month in Italy somewhere. Aww, I wanna live there. <laughs> You know, we do own an RV right here behind us. We could just drive. Oh, wait. I know you can't drive it unless it had like floaters down on the bottom, whatever you call it, things down on the bottom. Huh? Pontoons. Pontoons, okay, so we could float through the through the water. Okay, our dogs are out here too. Look. They out there. See, they're in their little doggy pen out there. Yep. See the shadows moving. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is this doesn't look too good outside, huh? It looks yeah. like it looks the kind of yeah, the lighting. I thought it would be even better than inside because, you know, natural lighting and all. And I tried it in the sun and I was all washed out. Um, here comes somebody on their tractor. That's our um, park ranger. Or he's the park ranger for the whole park and he's also the RV manager as well. So he always drives that, I think they call it a gator. gator. And watch, in a minute you'll hear a Oh, no, I guess he's leaving. I thought he was going to his RV. When he puts his brakes on, it makes this, like, really, like, grinding, grinding <laughs> metal on metal sound. And I'm drinking Big Red. Woohoo! Because I'm in Texas. It's my favorite soda. I still have coffee. It's, um, 1.10 in the afternoon. <laughs> and I, yes, wow. and I just now got my makeup on and got dressed and stuff. So, yeah, so yesterday we ended up going to, um, get the girls like I talked about yesterday we picked up our glamour girls and like uh, a half a mile maybe from where their school is is a humane society and I've been wanting to go in there and look for a German Shepherd for Adam because he's been wanting a German Shepherd for years now and all the places that we're finding like the German Shepherd rescue places they don't let you go in and just look at all the dogs and pick one according to their personality or anything you have to email them and make appointments but how do you know which one you want them to bring to you because i think they meet at a halfway point they don't even take you there they bring you a dog that you pick out from looking at the pictures yeah. and they'll bring it to meet you someplace but you can't just go see all the dogs yeah that doesn't make sense how do we know that we're gonna like their personality just because we like what they look like looks is just on the outside people don't they know that it's what's inside that matters <laughs> not just with humans but with dogs we can't just pick a dog based on a picture we need to see what their personality is like do they mesh well with us crazy people <laughs> well i'm the crazy one he is very opposite of me he's very he's quiet doesn't talk a whole lot unless it's geeky computer stuff <laughs> I can do that. Um, or motorcycle stuff <laughs> oh there's his beautiful motorcycle by the way i'll turn it i'll turn this around see if I can get it in the shot. I hope it's in what I'm actually. There's his motorcycle. There's his truck back there. And there's my car. There's the RV. I don't know if I'm actually showing it or not. <laughs> I don't know what's in the picture or not. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, how we're opposites. How I'm very talkative, very bubbly, you would think. But the real me guys, is really shy. I know you don't believe me, do you? You think I'm lying. I'm really shy and very observant. The only reason I do talk a lot is because he's all quiet. And so when we go places, 
there's a lot of dead silence and that to me just makes me even more nervous so i fill the air with babbling <laughs> otherwise i would love to be like him just nice and quiet and watch everyone else act a fool <laughs> like me. she never acts a fool. Funny. yeah <laughs> um yeah you better keep saying that if you want to go another <laughs> 10 years <laughs> no, I'm kidding. um yeah so I don't know what I was going to talk. I don't really have anything to say. I don't even know what we're doing today. I think we're just going to have a chill 10th anniversary. Um, <laughs> we were going to do something special, but as y'all know, my hubby got laid off. So all the plans we did have kind of just went bazook, bazook, berserk, went kaput. <laughs> there you go, kaput. That sounds better. <laughs> so yeah, that's okay though. Um, I think the important. 10 is a pretty important one and i think 25 and 50 and but if we're even around that long but hey we're doing what i like to do i just like to be home i'm a homebody like to be home chilling relaxing talking to y'all and uh, hanging out with my puppies so we went to the humane society and oh my god these this place this facility is so clean so, nice. so organized Welcome. and yeah there were three buildings of dogs one building for two buildings for adult dogs and they're all in their nice big cages they have two dogs per cage which is nice but they're big it's huge place for them to walk around in and they were all getting along with each other that's so awesome so there was like and then the third one I'd, puppy I'd see 10 or 20 dogs in the first building because if you yeah. count two oh, yeah. thing, and then 10 or 20 in the second building man it's blowing you can see the camera moving and then yeah, ten or twenty. It's okay. And then um, in the and then they had another. The third building was called the Puppy Palace. And I thought, oh, they're not gonna have anything cute in there. They're probably gonna have one or two dogs. Oh my word! They had like twenty dogs in there too, and they were so adorable. I would have taken them off, but we were looking for something specific. He was looking for a York. Uh, a York. He was looking for a German Shepherd. They didn't have any full or purebred German Shepherds. They had a lot of German Shepherd mixes. Um, so we ended up choosing what they're calling Titan. And um, yeah, he looks like he has some Rottweiler and some German Shepherd in him. If you want to see a little video or pictures of him, I've got some um, on my Facebook page. At um, My Facebook page is called Glamour Wilson. You can go check that out. And um, so they have him named as Titan. He's over here humming in my ear. Um, <laughs> so I'm getting distracted. <laughs> um, so yeah, they have him as Titan, but then on the way home, we're all trying to think of names. And he came up with Harley. And I said, oh, that's nice, that's cool. And I said, okay, how, how about beer? Be think yeah. of a beer name because you like dark beer. Think of a beer name. And I knew he was gonna choose Guinness and he said, Guinness. Guinness. And I said, oh, that's cool too. And then we're still, any sign we saw, we were saying, how about this? How about just something silly? Anything that, that we would read, we would say it. The girls and I were blurting out names and stuff. And then when we were just about to turn on to Highway 90 to go to our hometown, Castorville, I saw a Valero station and under the... Why are you humming? Oh, you're and, your phone's stuck in my head. And under the Valero station was the word diesel. And I'm like, ah, that's what I always think of Adam when, um, when I'm in the RV and he's coming from the store or coming from somewhere, you hear... <laughs> You hear, you hear, you hear his diesel truck, and so I thought ah, that's what reminds me of him anyway. How about naming the dog Diesel? So I just blurted out Diesel, and he's like, "I like that." <laughs> and when I oh, there goes my daughter going to work. She's going bye bye. Say bye. Here she goes. That's my daughter driving to work. <laughs> I'm just showing y'all everything, not huh? here, huh? Um. So yeah, that's oh, I'm in the. Why am I in the? The sun, the, the sun or whatever. Um, this isn't where I had it, is it? So yeah, he likes the name Diesel. Is that what diesel. you ended That's up sticking awesome. with? I think we're gonna call him Diesel. Yeah, I like that. So he says a Diesel, kind of with a Z, and I keep saying Diesel, so I don't know how yeah. we're gonna really say we'll it. We'll spell it with an S. Spell it with an S, but he'll say it with a Z, and I'll it's say just it with an it comes S. Out <laughs> diesel. Diesel. Yeah. How do y'all say it? Diesel or Diesel? Like when you're putting in Diesel gas, or it's not gas, it's Diesel. It's diesel. <laughs> diesel fuel. Okay. Hey, I'm wearing. See, I'm wearing my pearls. Oh, I haven't worn them in forever. Well, these are fake, though. Yeah, <laughs> and these are fake. These are real. <laughs> these are real. 
these are fake. These were cold when I first, that's how you know if pearls are real is if they're cold. And if they have knots between, you know, the string right here, they usually, all the real ones have knots. Um, and that's, that's another way of knowing that they're real. Um, anyway, I don't own hardly anything real other than my wedding ring and uh, these pearls. That's it. <laughs> Everything else is fake, like my eyelashes. <laughs> All right. So how long have I been on here? I have no idea. All right. So we're just babbling, but at least it's not just me babbling. It's two of us now. <laughs> you get to hear both of us. Our, and our dogs are watching. Our daughter, Finesse, got us... Uh, Three different got us some movies for our yeah. anniversary presents. Yeah. It was really nice of her. She always thinks of us. Yeah, she always thinks of our anniversary and stuff. And even when it's not a special occasion, she just gets us gifts. You know, yeah. ever since she started working when she was 16, she just buys us gifts just for no reason. And she doesn't just do little tiny things. She usually goes big, you know. Um, so, yeah, that was really yeah. nice of her. She got me the movie. Um, Endless love? Endless love. Endless love. And she got me Guardians of the Galaxy. And what else? Because I'm a sci-fi freak like that. Yeah, did she get you Expendables 3? Expendables 3, yes. And she got you other stuff for present day uh -huh. a couple weeks ago, too. Other movies and stuff. But anyway, yeah. So she's got an anniversary coming up next month. We, we give her anniversary gifts, too. She's not married, but the day that she got baptized, we use that as an anniversary as an anniversary date for her so that we have an excuse to buy her presents because <laughs> as you've heard me say before we don't celebrate holidays or birthdays or anything and so I tell her I said you know your real birthday is the day you got baptized so that's what we'll celebrate so that's what we do <laughs> and for us it's our wedding anniversary and then we just pick present day dates um, to give presents to each other just because it's fun <laughs> okay anything else oh there goes a leaf Anything else I want to talk about? Now look at the park. I'll just pretend like y'all are here with me, and we're just sitting out here at the, you know, in lawn chairs, looking at the park and hanging with each other. Yeah. Um, because, just because. Can oh. I you a virtual cup of coffee. <laughs> Some big red. Yay! <laughs> um, see my my what do you call wind chimes? I love them. They're made out of bamboo, and it's so windy today. All right, so I don't know what else to say. Let's just sit here in silence and enjoy the sun. <laughs> well, this is what enjoy I would be. The sunshine. This is what I would be doing with my friends if they were actually here with me. We would chit chat a little bit, it's look out at the park. It's been really cold and rainy, but today we're actually going to have seventy degrees. Really, in the middle I didn't of know January. that. Oh. It's seventy degrees and it's fully sun shining out. It's wonderful. Don't be jealous now, all of y'all that are stuck in the snow. <laughs> Because it's been nasty it's here. Been we, I mean, it's, it hasn't been snowy or anything. It's just been really rainy and muddy and stuff. Yeah. Yesterday we were watching a movie, and I cracked up laughing because I'm like, oh, that's good. I never heard that before. They, it said, if you pray for rain, know that you're going to deal with the mud. <laughs> and, yeah, it's been muddy lately. <laughs> so, yeah. See, no, seriously, this is what I would be doing if, we, if I had real girlfriends here. Mm -hmm. We would talk. We'd look at the park. Come up with another thought, talk, <laughs> only I would probably be um, crocheting along at the same time. So I never did get to the um, sock tutorial yesterday because I wasn't planning on stopping at Humane Society. I was planning on just getting the girls, coming back, and handing them over to their dad because their dad only had to work a half a day as well. Um, so I never got to it. Sorry, we were at Humane Society for like three or four. Probably three hours. Yeah, at least. a we long looked at a time. Lot of dogs. Yeah, and we would have took them all home if we could. We wanted to make the right choice, and we sat. You know, they another cool thing about this Humane Society place is that they have um, little. They have three rooms in there. You know, all glass walls, and you can go. And they bring you your puppy that you want to play with or that you want to you know, get down on the floor with and hang out with to see if y'all get along well. And that's awesome. And they have outside rooms too. So we were in, we asked them to bring us um, three dogs at three different times, of course. We had one whose name was Edward. He looked, his face completely looked German Shepherd, but his body was kind of long with short legs. And I'm like, I think well, he's, he I think he's <laughs> half Dachshund and half German Shepherd, which how that, that would hurt. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. But can you imagine a big old German Shepherd and an itty? 
I didn't think it was a dog suit. Oh, babe, the, something like the that. The body babe. was long, though. A corgi, maybe, but still. Corgi is what I was thinking. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. See? Bring some, tes some testosterone into the area and things just get weird. <laughs> Anyway, that just does not sound practical. Whether it's a German Shepherd and a Dachshund or a German Shepherd and a Corgi. <laughs> Still, ouch. Yeah, so what was it? <laughs> but I'm serious. So then there was another one whose name was Bella when we first got there, but by the time we left, her name was Alice. <laughs> go figure. No, actually, it's because they, re they realized that they already had another Bella in there, so they had to go change her name to Alice. And you could tell they were brothers and sisters because they looked exactly alike and they had the same birth date and everything. They came in on the same day. Came in on the same day. Um, so first we asked for Edward because he was really playful in his cage. And we thought, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> and the girls loved him the most. Yes, they did. And then we asked for Bella and uh, she fooled us. <laughs> in her in her little kennel, she was all, you know, just laying around acting so shy and quiet and docile. As soon as we got her into that room, I tried to pick her up and she dug her nails into the into the ground and was like, <laughs> you know, she didn't, she was stubborn. And what else made us oh, oh, her brother Edward, as soon as we pet him, he'd roll over oh, to yeah, his belly, right. which usually is a sign of submissiveness, which they usually tell you to test a, a certain amount of things, you know, roll him on his belly. I mean, roll him on his back, see if he stays. Edward did. Bella was like, wouldn't wouldn't roll, we're trying to roll her over. She's she like biting to, yeah. So she wouldn't let us. Then we spent the most time with Titan because he says he wants a big dog. So while he was looking at Bella, I went out and left him and the girls in there with the dog. And so I went out and looked at the other ones because I, I had remembered Titan and thought he was so good looking, good looking dog. Um, so I went and told him, hey, there's another one out there Call it's German Shepherd mixed with something else. And I said, he's big. His, his paws are like huge. Um, so we brought him in there, and as soon as we brought him in there, oh, I fell in love. I don't think Adam fell in love right away because he had his heart set on a totally purebred-looking German Shepherd. Um, but and Danielle wasn't very thrilled either because he wasn't playful at all. He was—he's oh, yeah. he's a very docile, he's quiet, mellow, really mellow dog, which is, which is what we need for this really RV. Good. Yeah, because we're just in an RV. We're not in a house. When we get in a house in a year or two, then I promise to get you a purebred German Shepherd because Diesel's going to need a big buddy yeah. to play with, you know. Can't wrestle with my three-pound Yorkie, you know. <laughs> what? Well, oh, I can tell you he's going to say not, something. He's not purebred, but he's an awesome dog. Yeah. His dog is so cool, and he's going to be hes going to be the size of a German Shepherd. The other two, we could tell we're going to be, they kind of look German Shepherd, but they were going to be small. Yeah. This one, this guy's paws are already like this big around. Yeah. And he's 20 pounds, and he's only three months old. Three, so I know. He's going to be a good size dog. Pounds. Wow. And I think he's He's uh he's laid back, but he's really smart. I think he's gonna be good and trainable. I hope so. Because yeah. <laughs> when you were calling him, he wouldn't come. Yeah, he'll <laughs> so I hope so. It, but I think it's oh, they just got him in yesterday. Yeah. Well, no, yesterday's the day we picked him out. The but they, they had, excuse me, they had just gotten him the day before as a stray, and I'm like, oh, who would have let this cutie boy, you know, this little cutie boy go like that? Either that or he got out of a fence or something, but hey, he's ours now. Oh, that sounds mean, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we actually, if I knew who the owner was, I would have returned yeah. him too, but maybe he, maybe they just took all the puppies you know, for a ride or something, you know, that permanent know. ride. <laughs> That's so sad. But, um, yeah. All right. Oh, really? Okay, now let's just look at nature again. <laughs> <laughs> I run out of things to say and then things pop into my head like it's gonna that. It's going to be a fun dog. Yeah, I wish Everybody we would have been able to bring him home though. That would have been cool. Yeah. But he's getting he's getting cut off. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's why we couldn't bring him home because Poor um guy. He's like a man dog. Yeah, the staff member went and, you know, looked at him and says, Nope, he hasn't been neutered yet and I'm like, How can you tell? I don't even see anything. He doesn't even have anything to cut off. <laughs> I didn't see anything. I'm like, What? He looks like a girl to me down there. <laughs> but yeah, they don't adopt out any any puppies or cats unless they've been spayed or neutered and so yeah he's getting he's getting neutered right now um so yeah so he's gonna have that done sunday which is tomorrow and we get to bring him home any pretty much after a couple hours of him having had the surgery we get to bring him home and so as docile as he was without surgery he's really gonna be you know probably knocked out yeah really bad knocked out
But today would have been a fun anniversary day to be able to uh, hug on them and love on them and stuff. All right. Anything else that we want to talk about? Tell them, tell them what you love about No, just kidding. It's our anniversary. Tell them a hundred reasons why you love me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't tell them anything. Alphabetically or in order of importance? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Because you don't even love me. No, I'm kidding. I always say that to him. Anytime he, he kisses me and says that I love you, I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> but I just say that. I've always said that since we started dating. <laughs> like, no, you don't. You know why I think I say that? It's my way of deflecting because I've just, I've always kind of protected myself. And, you know, some of y'all probably know that I've been through a lot in my life. And so I've, I'm very, I guess, self protective. And I kind of live in a bubble. So when someone, tells me they love me I'm like what do you want from me in my mind I'm thinking what does he want what does she want from me <laughs> so my first response was always no you don't because that that was my way of just kind of like boom okay let's cut this conversation off here <laughs> but <laughs> oh now I, now you have to talk because I'm coughing <laughs> <laughs> but I do because there's so much to love about her. oh really what so are you trying to say things. that I weigh so much <laughs> are you trying so many. to Characteristics about you to love because there's so much to like love. Funny. <laughs> Why are you and avoiding gorgeous, what I'm saying? <laughs> and you're not big. But you see, you see how I am. He'll any little thing that he'll say, I'll kind of try to find She'll something next. Because <laughs> there's so much. To, oh, really? Try, how much weight do you think I need to lose? <laughs> but I do need to no, lose weight. She's beautiful. I do need to lose. You're the most gorgeous. I've gained world. 10 pounds since I've been here. Probably 12 <laughs> by now. Okay, so this is probably like a 30 minute oh, wow. vlog. I took my ring off and I'm wearing my pearls. Since I'm wearing pearls, I'm oh, wearing sure. my pearls. Oh, this is a real. Off this... <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> well, I still have a ring on there though, mm -hmm. but it's still a ring on that mm -hmm. finger. So this is a real pearl as well as this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this one being. Oh, right yeah, well, that's what I was trying to say. Um, all right. Oh, can you hear the birdies? Yeah. All right. So I don't know if I'm going to stick with my 10 o'clock time for um, live vlogs every day. And I think I'm, I think I decided, I didn't decide this till this morning. I think <clears throat> when I do do my daily vlogs, I think they're going to be Monday through Friday. Um, Cause Saturdays and Sundays, I, I think those should be for me. <laughs> and uh, on Monday, I'll let you know what I did for the weekend and stuff. Um, so yeah, even though today is Saturday, um, I just, like I said, I just decided this morning that I think I'll keep the weekends for me and then just let y'all know what I did if I did anything exciting. Um, but yeah, I keep saying 10. I still think I should do 10. I just need to train myself to wake up earlier. You know, we're living the RV life, you know, it's just, <laughs> we both work from home. I don't um, well, that's right. Well, but you, I think I, I think you're this close to getting that job. I hope so. That that lead that I told y'all about, you know, it sounds like he might be getting hired on with that. Hopefully, and if not, someone's gonna pick him up. <laughs> someone will someone will hire him. Um, but yeah, so we both work from home. I forget what day it is half the time. I don't get dressed half the day because I don't need to. We live at a park, live in an RV, work from home on our computers. Um, so yeah, we live a pretty lax life, <laughs> but it's hum it's a humble life. It's not like it's simple. Life. Yeah, it's not like I'm saying, oh, we work from home because we don't need to work. No, it's not that. It's a very humble living. That you know, who lives in an RV only 200 square feet? You know, this is oh for whoever one of y'all asked me how I like RV living. I don't know if it was on here that someone asked me. I think it was on YouTube, but I think it was my Made with Love channel. Asked me how I like RV living because you and your husband were thinking of living in an RV. And you asked what kind I have and what size. Um, it's re It says Regal. It's a Fleetwood. It's a 38-foot Regal Fleetwood. And it has four slide outs. See, here's one slide out. And right here is the dining table that other window right there is where our two recliners sit and then across from there is another slide out where the full sofa is kitchen. and then yeah and the oh yeah the kitchen slides out too so that's two
Oh, yeah, that's all one slide out. This is one slide out. And then here's a little slide. I don't, I don't know if the camera's getting it or not, but there's one slide out right there. And that's our entertainment center in the bedroom. And that area where his bike is underneath it, that's called a hang. Uh, what, what, what is this? It, where it hangs really over, where it hangs over, that's where the bedroom is. And the, it's really a tall area, so we can actually sit, stand up. Even a tall person can stand up in there, which is really unusual for RVs. And then on the other side of that is another slide out, the bed. Here's my entertain, you know, here's my vanity, and the bed slides out. And then when you slide everything in, the bed slides right up to the vanity. And then the entertainment center is out here and it slides in um so yeah it's it's i i'm enjoying it i really i was afraid to go to uh, washington a couple months ago when we when we went and got the nest because i thought ah oh, i'm not going to want to go back to the rv after going to a 3300 square foot house that we have up there i'm gonna as soon as i get in there i'm not going to want to go back i'm going to love the space and i do i do love the space but the only thing that i really miss is my craft room <laughs> because now I have to do my tutorials in the living room and as, and as soon as I'm done I have to put everything away and then I have to remember exactly which flowers I used and which you know what setup I had that day um, over there I could just leave my stuff out um, I was done filming for the day I would just turn all the lights off turn the camera off and shut the door and then the next day when I was ready to resume filming I would just open the door get in there and get to work and I had my TV in there, and I had all my yarn, all nice and organized. So and I, that's it was pink. yeah, and it was pink. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only thing I really, really, truly miss. And I miss a yard because here we have to put leashes on the dogs to bring them outside to potty. Over there, when it says doggy potty time on my phone, I just go downstairs, open up the sliding door. They get to roam around in the yard and go potty, and then they come back in and get their potty treat. So that's one thing I miss. Um, oh, they're barking at people walking their dogs. See them walking their dogs over there? Yeah, there's Easy. people walking. Easy. Hey, babe, I was going to ask you to do something for me today, but you would probably have to cut the zip ties on that. <clears throat> I was wondering about maybe um, instead of having a square for their little gate right there, maybe doing it in a rectangle around the tree so they can be like in there. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like around here. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of maybe go like around here uh -huh. and there. And that way there's more walking room right there. Um, yeah. And they'd be elevated. Be they'd be elevated so if it got really rainy down there or something, I don't know. They would That's a neat idea. Yeah, so I think you may but do you have more zip ties in case no. you cut those you could I'd have to get some more. Yeah, which they're not that expensive. Okay. Comes the manager again. <laughs> the manager again. Uh oh. <laughs> Finding stuff. <laughs> I'll have to. Odd size. She's a. Uh, too big in a chest. Oh yeah. So anything you buy small for six pound dog. Too small. Anything size, too, too big. big. Hey, do me a favor, and if you have a tape, or if your wife has a tape measure, measure her chest area, and I can crochet her a cute outfit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. Okay, I've been a, I've been meaning to tell you that, Adam, to ask him uh, after yeah. you you brought the first one. I yeah. said, ask him what size his dog is, and I'll make him something. <laughs> What's you guys' favorite color for her? Pink, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, we I finally saw her for the first time. I saw Max and her out in the yard. Yeah, yeah. You see that Yorkie and you two are not doing tricks? No. I didn't think because we've had lots of Yorkies. None of ours has been that talented. Is her name Misa? I think it was. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We, we love I am subscribed to that channel. I love Misa. She's so smart. Yeah. My goodness. She's awesome. So that gave me an idea and I made a YouTube channel called um what? the 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 princess kylie show but it's wow. not half as entertaining as that look at kylie shaking in there the quote uh shotsies our little one i mean she was she was a dead ringer I mean, really? they were sisters. of the little one oh, kylie uh, 
Wow. She, she was the same color, everything. Wow. wow. Yeah, she was really black when we first got her. She was really, really dark the day we got her, and she's lightened up a lot. Well, Chloe, uh, Shotzi, finally came. She was almost a silver. Mm. But she, all her hair fell out. Oh. You know, when she was young. Yeah. But her, they told her. The breeder lady said the mother has a skin uh, disease or something. Skin disease. Yeah. And, uh, I was at the uh, tractor supply in Springtown when we go back there to the baby. And I was reading on the stuff. And the guy said, What are you looking for? I said, Well, I don't know. You know, I said, I have a little yarky that her hair falls. She itches all the time. And uh -huh. her, her hair falls out. Like eczema or something. And, uh, he said, Put her on this for a month. And her hair doesn't come back. He says, I'm Back on his card, he wrote his name, his phone number, and a guarantee that he'd refund my money. Wow. And you know she lived twenty three and a half years on that that medicine, that dog food, yeah. and never lost no more hair. But wow. did she get her hair back? Yes. And what was wow. the stuff? Because she's got a little, a she's got spot. a little. Well, she's got a little bald spot on yeah. her back where right. she got her shot when she first was a, when she was a baby, uh -huh. and that shot I read in a Yorkie book. Sometimes you get bald in that area, and she's bald in that area. Oh, I thought you said it was medicine. No, no, it's oh. dog food. Oh, yeah, we, 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 we've got the same medicine. I mean, we, we've got no, the same. Yeah. Oh, no, we've got the same dog food as what yeah, as what he says. Or, yeah. Well, and we've noticed it getting buzz back on it. Well, yeah, but it's not, not anymore. Not it's, it's not anymore. So, yeah, as soon as you told me that your dog yeah. lived that long and I asked you what food, we went and, we went and bought it that same week. He's on it. Yeah. Yeah. He's been on it. They've all been on it since uh, you told us about it. You know what? I've tried chicken. I've tried lamb. Give this boy some gas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> he's like, he's lying. It's really him. <laughs> <laughs> they, they always no, blame it on me. <laughs> he's, a, he, he's that silent killer. <laughs> <laughs> silent but deadly, huh? Yep. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> oh, he is, and he leans his head on him like dad. <laughs> well, believe it or not, we're getting another puppy. Are you really? <laughs> it's, it's, our it's our anniversary today. Good luck. I used to have a German Shepherd. Huh? I loved a long time ago, and I've always wanted another one. And uh, she was actually looking for German Shepherd. Um, but around here, there's rescue places, right. but you can't go to them and see the shepherds. You got to email them, make arrangements, pick them out to bring it to you to go meet you someplace to see the dog. Which is dumb. How do you? Dumb. And uh, we went to uh, they had a Greyhound rescue the other day at the last weekend at Pet Smart. Oh yeah, yeah. We've been to those. Well, they had about 10 or 15 Greyhounds. They had a bunch of other dogs too. Yeah. So yeah. Well, we were. Um, Picking up the girls from their school and the humane society right there in front of so we right. them up. And so we just drove in and, uh, uh, for a whole lot less money. Down to the shepherd's mix. Right. Right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I think it's mixed, maybe with some hot money. But uh, he's got the shepherd look to him mostly. Um, with the males are hard to house, Frank. Huh? The males are hard to yeah, house. Um, but he's only three months old. Well, but he's huge. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, he's getting right fixed. Now. That's why we don't have him right now. He's getting fixed so tomorrow. Here at this park? Huh? Oh my word! Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. So I was talking to the veterinarian, and she said, "Well, uh, it's a fiction before he drops mm -hmm. that he won't have that fresh costume, and he won't be trying to cover up the other oh, sins." I yeah. see. <laughs> he is never ever used bathroom when I read. Wow. This one's getting neutered. He'll come tell me tomorrow. Really? If I'm if I sleep past eight, which I normally do, he'll come up there with his paws and <laughs> Yes. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, said, then he'll go lay by the front door. He'll lay by the front door. And hold his, you know, I go to the bathroom. You know, he's he's, pa he's patient and you're yeah, right. He's away. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Says, Let me take you out. Well, we were picking up the girls yesterday, and every time we pick up the girls, they're on Fredericksburg, their school is, 
and there's a humane society right there and I've been wanting to go in there to look for a shepherd right. it's such a clean facility <laughs> and it has lots of different types of dogs and they're well taken care of yeah. and They've but <laughs> yeah this one he's three months old he's 20 pounds he's this color. already so and his paws are, are huge yeah, so she said, for, I want this our 10 year anniversary. I want to get you the dog you wanted. And like, we can't do another dog in the RV. <laughs> but we're going to run a spot in my RV. <laughs> for the dogs. We said, oh, we said we need to get an RV just for the dogs. Just for the dogs. <laughs> You know, what would be really awesome is to have another RV for his office. <laughs> that would be... Oh, I sold that when he had a burning conformer. Oh, did he? I don't know if it was a conformer, but he sold it. Yeah. Yeah, he had... Josh had that one sitting there for a while. Yeah, I know. I was like, that. that is not moving. Cool. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> so we named him Diesel. His name's going to be Diesel. Because of his truck. He's, he's mostly black. <laughs> <laughs> he can hear his diesel. Him, she actually told him, <clears throat> that's like, actually, she the word diesel. Like, hey, diesel, we have a truck. That's a good name. That's a good oh, Matt, look how he leans against his face. <laughs> how cute he's is that? He's, he's ready to go home. He's like, let's go for a ride. Come on. I'll come by and grab it. Yeah, I'll have, I should have got you. I was waiting there. I, looked, I even looked at it, but I, I had to work on my hot water here. I said, I'm oh, still no. not all together yet today. Oh, no. I'm old. <laughs> Literally, I He's got a bone. Is that a bone? Okay. <laughs> he keeps his bone in there. That's funny. So it takes me like a couple days to recruit one. To get back to my normal self. Yeah. I want to work like that. Yeah. I'm like that. If I do a lot, a lot like that, my back would be. Yeah. So so this morning, day. I could. Actually, I could Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ten years. Ten years. Twenty-seven. Wow. wow. Awesome. That's Second. cool. Been married most of my life. Yeah. Wow. Ten to my first wife and twenty-seven this one. Wow. Wow. But the first one's at nine trying to figure out how to get out of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is my channel. No. He just went and checked it out. Uh, I'm always telling people, hey, all about it. I mean, how do you do this? How do you do that? And making YouTube. YouTube. There's everything from YouTube. All right, guys. So I am going to say goodbye. I'll get on with our day. I don't know what we really have planned. Maybe we'll go for a ride. Maybe hit an olive garden. Um, it's already kind. We already had lunch. We had breakfast tacos for lunch. <laughs> Yeah, I had chorizo and egg and bacon and egg, and you had the same thing, same right? Thing, yeah, you had yours with hot sauce. <laughs> <clears throat> and so maybe a pre-dinner something, we can go something. to Olive Garden for soup and salad. And what's my favorite soup? Um, it's not the zuppa. The, uh, oh, no, soup is called zuppa, I think, zuppa. in Italian. It's zuppa. I like the pasta visual, and you like uh, the... Uh, oh, I forget the name of it. It's got it's the, the it's, potato one. Yeah, the, the, the white either. creamy one. It's really good. And it's got like little pieces of of chorizo or something. It's got some kind of sausage yeah, in it. Sausage. Yeah, some little Spicy pieces sausage. of, yeah, it's really good. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I hope you don't find this too boring. And I'm probably saying goodbye to nobody because y'all probably signed off a long time ago because you're like, okay, this is boring now. <laughs> She's not even talking to us. She's talking to the manager. Um, but I didn't want to say anything or say goodbye because I didn't want him to feel like he had to hurry up and leave and I didn't want him to know he was on camera. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'll just say goodbye and don't forget that I love you and don't forget to love yourselves and each other as much as I love you. And if you're ever having a bad day, come and visit one of my videos and uh, I know that my goofy self will make you laugh. Because <laughs> see, I even make myself laugh. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. Bye. Bye. That's for you. <laughs>